Hello again Ignition fans. Do you remember last time I was working on the bike? I say working, doing some stuff to it. Um, I know you're not very close here, but I'll do a close up in a minute. I attached the actual atom unit to uh, the frame, so it's grounded. Remember that grounded thing? Uh, put a slightly not brilliant, not brilliantly well placed connector here ran a wire up through a double hole through here and up through here the HA6 you know that Gunji sealant I used has set like rubber it's fantastic stuff so I think this looks all done the next job is to attach the repaired flywheel remember I sent it off to uh, Holland here that's van der van Solex Veerkoop okay so uh, if you go onto the interweb and put van der Ben Solex, what they will do is do various jobs for you as well as sell you bits and bobs. And what they did was re-key this flywheel. I'll do a close-up of this in a minute. So they've cut a nice little slot in there and they've given me a little key which will go in there. I'll do a close-up of that as I say in a second. All right, so... Um, flywheel that's going on, which is a bit buckled actually, and then Paul, uh, Paul's flywheel, there we are, this is the one I borrowed, this is a great nick this one, it's a shame to take this one off but it's not mine, so that's going to have to go back, uh, luckily I made a little uh, bit of packaging for it to go in, so maybe I'll send that back to Paul, I don't know, depends on what he wants. Alright, so um, I'm going to turn the camera around. And we're going to have a go now. Actually, what is going to be a fairly tense bit of uh, bit of mechanicking? I'm going to have to get this flywheel onto there. Um, and I've literally not done this before. I don't know what's going to happen. It could be an absolute catastrophe. Great. So, um, without further ado, let's go to that catastrophe. Okay, here we are again. Um, what I'll do is I'll turn this crankshaft around a bit. Okay, now can you see in the top, if you've got eagle eyes, I use this handy pointer. Oh, wait a minute, it's the key. There's a slot here. See that slot? This bit of metal called the key, I think it might even be called a wood rough key. That is supposedly going to slot in there. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah, look, that sort of, that kind of goes in there. Did you see that? It's like it was meant to go in. I might move you a bit closer. See that bit of metal? I just slid it into that slot. Okay. Um, and there's a slot that's been professionally filed into there. All right, so this is my old flywheel. This is the one that's supposed to go on here. And what I'm going to do is I'll position myself a bit. I'm going to try and get this onto here. Uh, so what I'm assuming, I don't know, is if I leave the, the key in that position there and try and line it up with the slot in here. Oh, dear. Okay, so this isn't going particularly well, it just doesn't feel like it's... Oh, hello. So, that lined up. Yeah, okay, so... That's not a great noise. What's that noise? What is making that weird noise? Should we take that off? Ah, oh, right, okay. The, uh, the key has disappeared. Where did... what the... Mr. Key, where did you go? 
This is really, really weird. I'm sure I put the key in. You saw me put it in. I saw me put it in. Where did it go? This is really weird. Um, okay, so that's good. Can you see it? Where is the key? With that bit of metal? It's gone. Oh, wait a minute. Do you know why I think it is? There we are, Solex fans. Can you see it? It's there. Okay, so clearly then putting it into here first isn't a great idea. However, I am bereft of other ideas other than putting it in the flywheel first. So I've got to slot this funny bit of metal in here and keep it in there while I line this up with that. It doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to be doing that. That key keeps coming out. And if I slide it this way a bit more, can you see? If I pull it out the thread a bit and line it up this way first. Okay, so this is this is working like a, a treat. Now look, here's the thing. Here's Paul's old flywheel. Look, look at this bad boy go on here, look at that. Slip. Okay. Now that's what it's supposed to do. Why doesn't mine do that? Now, it's, mine's actually cut completely square. Oh, I've lost it now. I've actually lost the key. Oh, it's here. Mine isn't completely square, so I'm going to try and maybe just slot it into there first. I'm going to go now for the flywheel first technique. Oh dear, I can only apologise Solex fans. I know you came here to see quality mechanicing and look what you've got. Alright, so there's the key in there now. Did that go in? Yes, it did. Okay. Can you hear that noise? Is that supposed to be doing that? What is making that weird noise? I've got a feeling I'm going to have to post this video like this. And just say to the world at large, what's that noise? I mean, that doesn't actually go all the way on. It's not going all the way into where it's supposed to, I don't think. Let me take this one off, having just spent ages trying to get it on. Let me put the original one back on. There's the slot. There's the key. Okay. Now look how far that one goes in before it needs to be tightened. All the way. Let me show you at the side here. Can you see it goes all the way to there? All right. All the way to there. That much gap. Okay, can you remember that? This flywheel off. I say these flywheels are like the crown jewels, are so valuable. Okay, so here's my flywheel. Um, to be honest, looking at the key and the one that I've got, it kind of tapers down. I don't think. Mine's been done right. It doesn't taper. 
Is it supposed to taper? If you look inside, it really sticks up. See that? It really sticks up there. Okay, but it doesn't stick up in this one. In this one it's all kind of ground down. Okay, now what I really don't want to do is start leaning on a, a spanner. Um, I don't know what if I make the, make the key stick out that way a bit. I don't want to lean on a spanner and go... Hoo! Um, and get this on. Is that what you're supposed to do? Have the key sticking out like this? But that's not, not gonna... It's not gonna go on, is it? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, take the key out altogether, and to see... Now look at that, so that's lovely, isn't it? Alright, so I think we've established that this goes on all right. Okay, it goes on. Uh, there's, there's no key in there at the moment, so you can see that's just spinning on the crankshaft, not turning the crankshaft. But that goes on just fine. That's lovely, look at that. Alright, it's not making any weird noises. When I put it out here, yeah, it makes some weird scratchy noise. So that's what the scratchy noise is. There's not, nothing weird going on with the clutch or any loose cables in here. So I think it's Mr. Key. This is just sticking out too much. It's just a, basically a square bar. If you have a look there, it's not terribly light. Can you see that there? Put it in the light a bit. It's just a square bar that slots down. I'll tell you what, I'll actually move it about in my hand a bit. Uh, so this square bar kind of goes down there, but it really sticks up. It really... If you can see how much it sticks up. Now I know there's a slot... Sorry about that, I keep banging you about. I know there's a slot cut in this, but the slot cut in this is just not... It's a very shallow slot. Very, very shallow. So this, this key um, is going to stick up about two millimetres. <laughs> yeah. Have a look there. See how much it's sticking up at the back? It's sticking up out of the crankshaft about one and a half to two millimetres. Um, that's using the, the measurement system of uh, nations that haven't sent a man to the moon. Okay, so literally that is no way tapered enough. It's just a piece of metal. Now that costs me about, in total, can you see how much that's sticking out in there? From sending it backwards and forwards, it was about 45 quid. I didn't have that done. Um, now that's sticking up there more than, you can see that, that's more than two millimeters. So that's what's happening. That is the problem. You know what? I'm going to do what uh, a lot of people do on the interweb here. I'm going to post this, post this video, and ask people who know more than me, and there are many, what I should do here. What I definitely don't want to do is get this and a nut on there, and go, and then something breaks.